The switch to online learning bringing changes and challenges for students, but one thing that hasn't changed is bullying. In fact, one UC Davis expert says the pandemic has made bullying easier than ever. CBS 13's Laura Hayfley is live with how bullying goes remote, Laura. Yeah, for students across the country, including for the ones at the Twin Rivers Unified School District, sitting in front of a computer screen all day has become normal. But it's definitely come with some problems, made worse by the pandemic. Ayanna Atkins' daughter is a sixth grader in the Twin Rivers Unified School District. She's been dealing with some cyberbullying um, every day for, I want to say, the past month. According to mom, it happens during her classroom Zoom calls. A student will change their name to hers and then say different slurs like you're ugly. Um, today in particular, she told her to kill herself. UC Davis professor of sociology Robert Ferris says bullying is easier during the pandemic. The kids, um, you know, are ostensibly in school, but they're able to bully each other right out in the open um, in a way they wouldn't be able to in a traditional classroom. Because teachers aren't right there to stop them. A teacher would be able to intervene and, and see what's happening. We asked Professor Ferris if online attacks are more common with kids at home during the pandemic. We don't have the data, uh, as far as I know, to, to say definitively, but I would think yes, they're spending you know their entire day. And, and then after school hours, they're still staying online. It makes it kind of a never ending thing for some, for some victims. His advice for parents? Try to encourage their kids not to get caught up in popularity games. It's the kids who care about popularity. Those are the ones who are stepping on their friends and bullying. Ayanna Atkins' biggest fear, if the bullying doesn't stop, her daughter will start to believe it. I tell her she's beautiful. She'll be like, am I really? She's beautiful. She's beautiful, always has been. Just a, a light and a joy to our lives. We reached out to Twin Rivers Unified School District to ask them about Ms. Atkins' situation. They say the inve they investigate all claims of bullying. Ms. Atkins tells us she has been in touch with her daughter's principal. 